hello good evening sujeet good evening sir good evening uh, we'll wait for some time as i'm expecting few more participants to join yes yes sir yes for sure okay
All right, very good evening to all. So let's continue. Sujit. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, before starting, uh, I have offline participants also, and you are the individual to attend online. Now, uh, okay. can I have a small introduction of you? Uh, myself, Sujitra Kalakandi, sir. Uh, I recently completed my degree from BCom Honors, Arora. Okay. That's it, sir. So looking for job opportunities or higher education? Uh, job opportunities, sir. Okay, right. All right. Now, let us continue. So, before starting session, let me just give a small introduction towards Excel Ethics. So, after completing with this introduction, we can go for a small demonstration of advanced Excel. Okay, sir. All right. So Excel Ethics. So it's now it's called as Team Excel Ethics Private Limited, where one stop destination for training and business consulting solution. As uh, it's a private limited organization now, every company has vision, mission. We to have mission, vision for the training students, giving foundation and all. So now what are the milestones and impact? So we are into analytics. That's my institute from 2014. It's an ISO 9001 2015 certified data analytics training institute. So uh, managed by a team of high, highly motivated Microsoft certified professionals. All right, corporate, we have corporate high ups, more than 30,000 plus LinkedIn connections facilitated with more than 5,000 certificate, Microsoft certification. Trained more than 20,000 professionals since 2014. Top, top, ranked top one of the uh, training institute by Urban Pro under educational institute category. Right, this is one of the uh, overview of our institute, X Team Excel Ethics Private Limited. So now let's go with so analytics future and all. So now, what are the uh, courses we are providing? So services we are providing from our Excel ethics. So we are offering courses like advanced Excel, VBA, SAP. Power Apps, Power BI, MS Access, Python, Tableau, Data Science, SAP FICO, Business Analyst, as well as Tiny has been newly added in our training. Right. The next certifications, we are authorized uh, test center for Microsoft certifications. So, so we provide Microsoft Office specialist certifications. So as well as based on our experience, we, uh, we have planned different courses, customized different courses. One of the course name called as Weapon where it's a weapon certification as well as we have one more customized training program called as analytic power pack and different certification courses as well as consulting solution for uh, excel reporting doubts clarifications the next uh, helping support for vba automation power bi automation development dashboards and templates all these particular consulting solution analytics consulting recruitment consulting all will be providing then next similarly Training highlights, we partner with colleges as well as corporate groups, provide real-time project assistance as well as uh, post-training support, support for interviews, online as well as offline training will be providing, provide placement assistance as well as provide training and backup sessions. As I told, we have, uh, we have two customized courses. One is Analytic Power Pack, where that will deal with the three applications that is Advanced Excel, SQL, and Power BI. Three different courses, which consists of 80 hours duration. Right. So next to Weapon. So Weapon is a network for newly joining employees. So where you can see the title here, which I've given is course to make you corporate ready. When you're joining after completion of your graduation or uh, studies, you are, if you're joining for a corporate. So first basic requirement is this. So weapon. So what is the uh, abbreviation for this weapon is that meant word, Excel, access, uh, PowerPoint, outlook application, as well as networking skills. So networking skills where we'll be going with soft skills related part, right? If without these particular basics in a corporate, we can't work out. So basic skills are required. So even though we have learned these courses in our school or college standard, 
but it's only up to an academic related we have studied. But when you go with a corporate, it's totally different. Where we need to do totally real time data, we need to work out. Right. So we'll be showing some real time examples and all so that you can easily uh, work in our regular day to day activities. So it's uh, the duration for this course is 50 hours. Now, so these are the courses related topics, durations and all. So as we told Edward, our partners, we are tied up with colleges like St. Joseph degree and PG college, Hindu college for women's university of Hyderabad, planet Finas business school, St. Mary college. So these are some of the colleges as well as corporate clients, like, like Dr. Reddy's foundation, national dairy development board, real page, HSBC. Data projects, PNG, New Land, uh, New Land, ITC, or these are the some samples. We have many more like this corporate clients. So Mr. Kishore is the CEO of Team Excel Ethics Private Limited. Holds different certifications. So team members. Testimonials from different clients. Reviews. So wherever you go, with all applications, we are in all platforms. Urban Pro, Just Dial, whichever application you are, you are searching, we are available. Like Facebook, Twitter, Insta, all applications, social media platform, we are available. Presently, we are running with four different branches. One is registered offices at Amir Pet, the next Usman Incubator in Usman, Usman University, the next KPHB, and presently we are running a demo session at Chikarpali. Right, four different batches. So this is about a small introduction towards Excel ethics. Now let me take you through my introduction before starting the session. Now, so now myself, Mohammed Khadir, Director Team Excel Ethics Private Limited. I have 20 plus years of experience as MS Office Trainer and also I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer, certified by Microsoft, Microsoft Office Specialist as well as Microsoft, Microsoft Expert, Excel Expert with various versions. Now, I, I'm also I'm a corporate trainer also where I've imparted classes for more than 100 different clients. So let me share some of my clients where I've imparted classes to on advanced Excel mostly. So these are my clients where I imparted classes mostly on advanced Excel. So one of the biggest organization you can see on like this, I have a couple of slides. So one of the slide is this. So in this, you can see one of my biggest organ, biggest organization you can see Aditya Birla. The next hope you know about KPMG came across the company name called as KPMG. It's a competitor to Deloitte, right? The next uh, data group, data technologies. Genpact, right? The next financial organizations like Bank of America, DCP Bank, DHFL Home Loans, right? Fed Bank, Royal Sundaram. These are financial organizations as well as mostly you are aware of uh, this Sanofi uh, Pharma organizations, Sanofi, the next uh, New Land, Biocon, GVK Bio. These are uh, IZAN. These are financial uh, pharma organizations. The next... Uh, Mostly aware of this Asian pains, Paytm. We got an opportunity to impart them also. The next heritage, right? The next NMIMS university. So university in North is one of the top most top three universities comes under top three universities. So for them, got an opportunity to impart classes for staff as well as the college students, right? So now. Uh, as well as got an opportunity to impart classes for government departments also like police department, prison department, the next NTPC, voluntary water and manage water and land management, custom department, all this. The next uh, recently last year, I got an opportunity to impart classes for IIM, Indian Institute of Management, Udaipur, Rajasthan. All right. 
So this is, uh, these are some of my clients where I imparted. Out of this all, one of my biggest achievement of my career is got an opportunity to impart classes for civil service officers also. Hope you are aware of civil services. So civil service, when you go with the government sector, one of the biggest uh, post in civil sector is IAS. Got an opportunity to impart classes for civil service officers also in the year 2016 uh, with a batch of 60 participants in service IAS officers from 13 different states. This is the session where I got an opportunity to impart classes for IS level officers, in-service IS officers. So on that day, the session was also on Excel for them. All are IS officers. So two batches, got an opportunity to impart two batches. First batch, 60 participants. Second batch, 60 participants. Two batches. Apart from that, and they uh, for apart from that got an opportunity from uh, from past ten years regularly every year part of their induction training got an opportunity to impart classes for other different sectors also apart from IAS IPS IES IRS all sectors got an opportunity from past ten years I am regularly conducting classes for. So in a batch eighty participants were there. Every batch, I'll be having more than 60 participants. In the year 2022, IS officers also, I got an opportunity in part for those who have been deputed to only Telangana state IS officers. So seven members in 2022 batch, seven members have been deputed to Telangana state to various districts. The next apart from that, uh, you can see Agrajan, Aizand, Ajmira Group, Bharat Financial Services. So this is a session where uh, after COVID, after COVID session, uh, physical sessions have been started at that time. The next uh, high radius. All freshers working on a project. The next IIM. For all our MBA students. Classroom atmosphere. Intelligence Department, Police Department, Custom Department, when you go with the custom, Airport. Got an opportunity to impart from them also. NMRS University for staff as well as students. Police. Because you don't ask us why for police department mostly they'll be on, on uh, field only. So back end the staff will also be working. Yes. So after completion of their training with them, present department here only Telangana, Chanchalgoda J, for staff members. So other other so all these organizations got an opportunity to impart them. 
So now, based on my experience, I have came across most of the participants. Like they'll be joining classes for advanced Excel and then in a corporate classes also, they'll be joining for advanced Excel only. But they are lacking with the basics. So with their regular project work, they'll be going with only routine work, as you have mentioned. From starting day one to day till retirement or till last day also working, they'll be working with the same topic, same project work. But they are lacking with the basics. So whenever I ask for an admit basic questions also, they are not familiar with that. So now what we'll do is, as part of my demonstration, we'll try to work out with... Just a minute. Yes. Hope I'm audible to all online. Yes, sir. Yes. So based on my experience, uh, wherever I've gone for a corporate uh, corporate class for advanced Excel, I have seen like Participants are not familiar with the basics. That is the main important part which I have observed in that. So now as part of my demonstration for today, let me take you through a simple example related to some basic skills. So that we'll get to know at what stage we are in. So that uh, from where, which topic we can start. Right. So now let me take you through one query here. Let one topic here. So I've taken one example file name called as formatting. Let us work out with that. So now let me take you through one sheet name here called as sheet one with the name formatting. So as per the title suggests formatting. So let's see here. I have gone with one simple data where you can see I have a data with near about seven to eight different columns. That's fine. But the data here, you can see employee names. It's not in an admit where I can't see the, read the names also, full-fledged. So what I need to do is, I need to just increase the column width manually I need to do. So instead of doing manually like this, what you can do, just double-click so that automatically column width will be adjusted. This is one method where you can adjust. So that's fine. As of now, nothing but as part of my demonstration, so seven columns are there, seven times I can double click. That's fine, I can do it. But if I go within a real-time scenario, I, I, I may not be working with only seven to eight columns. I'll be working with 40, 50 columns like this. So 50 columns, let's take an example, 50 columns are there. So 50 times I need to do double click. So it's a time-taking process. So instead of that, what we can do is we can use some shortcut methods. So before going to that, let me take you to one scenario so that we can easily work out with this. So let's take an example, my higher, higher official, my manager have called me and asked me to send a report, right? So send a report uh, where he is attending a meeting with the client, right? So nowadays, what are reports we are, we are gen generating, online report and all. So once you open that particular file, you will come across like this. So sir also knows that when I open this particular report, it will open like this. So sir, sir, what he has told us, ask me to download this particular file and send it to me as it is so that he'll be attending a meeting. No need to do any for formatting, like sorting, filtering, no need to do all such things. Just download and send that particular report so that I'll be attending a meeting without any data he's attending. So he needs some data to talk, right? So he has given me an instruction. I have downloaded this particular file. Now, my query is, can I directly send this particular report to my higher official? I can't send like this. So I need to do some basic formatting. So basic formatting, like I need to adjust the column width so that it should be in a readable mode, right? So what we'll do manually, just now what I've seen, uh, what I've shown, double click. So double click means that, but it's a time taking process. Sir has told me to with, uh, send me as, as early as possible. Within five minutes or ten minutes, as early as possible, he is attending. He is about to attend the meeting, right? So, simple shortcut key. What you can do is just go in between, in between one and a, in between one and a. You can see a rectangle box. Just click on it. It will select the entire sheet. 
just double click in in any one of the column in between any one of the column that's automatically column width will be adjusted even if you have 50 100 thousand columns also not an issue based on the content it will column width will be adjusted auto fit right so this is fine column i have adjusted next part what i can do here yes File. file name is there. What I need to do? Another one. Title, title, title should be same. Title will be. So like the, the title as well as my content looking same. So I need some differentiation in there. So let's take example. I'm just selecting my title. So how will be selecting with the help of mouse pointer means it might be taking some time because I have taken an example like 50 columns are there. So 50 column selection, it might take some time. So what we'll do is first cell. Hold your from left hand, hold your control shift key and then right arm. Straight away it will select the entire till last cell. Starting cell to last cell, if I want to go, control shift right arrow. It will select the columns. So how many columns are there? It will directly select. Then next, I want to make it bold. Right? So it will be difference should be there. So I can use these colors. That's fine. Apart from this color, if I want to make it bold, thick. Right, so we have a universal shortcut key that is for the uh, or making bold. What's the shortcut key? Universal shortcut key. Control B. Control B is for bold. Right. So now what we'll do is so as we are going to learn further new topics and all, let us learn one shortcut key here. That is instead of Control B, let's use some other alternate shortcuts. So let us use one shortcut key that is called as control two for bold. Right. Similarly, let's take an example. Let's take an example here. Uh, let's take scenario type. Today for my demonstration, I was expecting like 10 to 15 participants out of which I can see only eight to 10 participants. Other participants are not attended. So I want to show the but higher official that these are the person who have left the organization or not attended the today's training. So what we'll do, we'll just highlight like this. These are the persons who, who have not joined today's session. This is one, one method to show that the indication. Or else what we'll do is in the other scenario, we'll take a printout and submit the report where we'll be manually striking of their names. So instead of that, you can directly use here itself, striking of, striking of their names who have not attended today's class or left the organization. They are not working as of now. Right. So how we can do just individually you can select or the entire row you can select and then use control five as a shortcut command to strike it off the names. Control five. Right. Then next, just now we have came across this particular title. So title for to make bold, we have used a shortcut key control B or else control two. Right. Control three for italic. You can go for control. Control three for italic. Control four for underline. This shortcut key we can use manually like control B, control I, control U. But you can use an alternate shortcut key which will be very useful uh, compared to others. Right. So two, three, four. You can remember like this. Control B, control two, control three, control four. Shortcut keys. Then next, apart from this, uh, any other step I can do here? If you want to remove also, you can use the same. Control 2, Control 3, Control 4, remove. Control B, to apply or to remove the same shortcut keywords. Next, any other shortcut key? Any other work I can do? Our Excel data won't look like Excel data until unless you apply borders to it. Without borders, we can't take a printout also. Right. So to apply borders, first of all, what I need to do, I need to select the entire data. Right. So to, to select entire data, what I need to do is I need to select any one of the cell within the data and then go for control A so that it selects the only the content part it selects. What happens, what I've seen with most of the participants is they'll be selecting outside of the data and try to do control A. The difference you can see it has selected the entire sheet, not the content part. So whenever we are working with these type of requirements, select any one of the data and then go for control A. Only content part has been selected. That's fine. Everyone uses control A. Now let us use some other alternate. So can I ask you a query? Like instead of control A, 
do we have any other shortcut key to select this particular data? Shweta, from your end, any other command shortcut where we can select this entire data apart from control E? Yeah, control A only, I know. <laughs> Everyone knows this control A. Let's learn some new. Even school student will also try control A only. From school days, we have learned this control A, control B, control C. So now let us try it out some other alternate. So other alternate, what I can do is place your select the first cell, control shift right arrow to select right side content, control shift down arrow to select the entire content till down. So you can see my data has been selected, but, but if I compare these two shortcut keys, Control A is the best one. Where in this particular one, I have used control shift right arrow, control shift down arrow. So three, three, six keys I have used. When compared to control A, control A is the best one. Only two keys were there. So now let, it, let me take you through one more shortcut. So one more shortcut key, what we can do is control shift space bar. Select any one of the cell within the data and then go for control shift space bar. So where you can see I have compressed from six keys to three keys now. But still, control A is the best. Right. So now let us go with another method. So the another method, what you can do is select any one of the cell within the data and then use a shortcut key, control asterisk, control star. If you have a numerical keypad, then you can use control asterisk. So you can see only data part have been selected. So new shortcut, key, only two keys. Right. Control asterisk, control A. Now let us see the difference between these two. So control A is the best one, but when I'm going with a new shortcut, let us shoot, see the difference between these two. So I'm just going with a cell outside of my data. What if, if I use control A, you can see it has selected the entire sheet. Now, what if, if I'm using this control asterisk, it won't select the entire data. To select the data, it shall have surrounding data, then only it select the data part. If I'm going with outside, it won't select anything. That's the plus point of using this control asterisk. Instead of control A, you can use control asterisk. Till now we are using control A. So first preference will take as control A only. Slowly, slowly, once you are doing practice, then we can use this control asterisk in our regular day-to-day -day activities. Now, so selection part has been done. If I want to apply these particular borders. So borders, how we can apply borders? You can directly go to this. Home tab. Here you can see font exact here bottom borders. Just click on this drop down option and then click on borders, all borders. That's fine. Now I have used this particular part using a short manual keys. Now let us use some commands. So in Excel, whenever we are working in an Excel, keyboard shortcut plays a very important role. If you're using mouse, it's a lengthy process. If you're using a shortcut keys, shortcut key, you can uh, nothing but skip some time also. Right. So now if I want to apply, let's go back. If I want to apply borders with shortcut commands, just for, from left hand, click on Alt. You can see some options have been activated on top. Right. So I want to go to this home tab. So home H and then borders. So B in that all borders A applied. So now what we'll do is we'll combine all the keys at a time. Alt H B A. That's it. So it creates a shortcut key for us. So do those who are uh, that but those regular keys are there. If you just remember like this, you can utilize in our regular day to day activities. Alt H B A. That's it. Alt H B A. No need to hold all keys at a time. Alternate. Just go with. Alt H B A. Alt H B A. No need to hold all keys at a time. One by one you can. Once you are familiar, you can go fast also. Next. Suppose if I want to remove the borders. Alt H B. Here you can see no borders. Here, that's. Alt H B L. 
for applying borders to remove borders. Apply. And we have another alternate shortcut key to remove borders. So this key you can use here. You can see four keys I have used. So if you want to remove the borders, control shift underscore to remove borders. Control shift underscore. Now, so I've applied border also. Now, can I send this particular report to my senior official? No. What I need to do? Color is also good. Color is pure. Ho gaya. Kar dete color. Chalo, ek kar diya color. Next. Title. Okay. Let's have the uh, title is there. Let's assume title is there. This number should be it's a readable format. Numbers should be this is it readable only, no? Right, means uh, decimal. Right, super. So nothing but decimal points should be there as it's a salary. So I need to display in a decimal value like eighteen thousand five forty seven. So I need to use comma style for this, right? So how to do that? So if I'm using decimal points, the column width should be increased. So let me increase the column width. Right. So what I've seen with the most of the participant is if I want to apply dot or comma styles or dots for this, so it'll be selecting entire column straight away. What a practical knowledge if I tell. So they'll be selecting like this and then applying commas or dot decimal values. So because here you can see I have only 75 records in this particular scenario. If I select like this, it's selecting more than 75 records. Unnecessary. So in this particular case, what I want is I want to select only the 75 records. So for that, what we'll do, select first cell, control shift down arrow. So where it selects only the content till last cell, only the salary part. It won't select unnecessary cells. Till content only it will select. That's fine. Now the problem is if I want to apply this particular part into comma style or with the decimals, so it applies, but what I want is, I want to see my output from first sellers. So I've started from top to bottom, that's fine. But I want to see my result from top itself. If I apply here, it will apply only from bottom I can see, but I want to go to top with the selection. So for with the selection, if I want to go, how we'll use one of the method, what I've seen in most of the participants will be using like this, scroll back. We'll be going to top with the help of scroll, scroll back. As of now, I have only 75 records. That's fine. I can see this particular one. But what if, if I go for a practical scenario? We will be not, we won't be working with 75, 100, 1000, 10,000. We'll be working with 10,000, 50,000, 1 lakh of records. When I'm going, increasing the number, automatically the scroll button size will be decreasing. If I have 1 lakh records, the size, the size will be too thin. Where I can't use this scroll button also to go to top. So in that particular scenario, how to do? So let's see how we can work out to top. If I want to go top, use control backspace. Straight away, even if you have one lakh records also, with one go, with the selection, you can go to top. Control shift down, I have came. If you want to go to top, control, straight away, you can go. Right, then next. If I want to apply uh, but comma styles with the decimal values, you can use this particular option, comma style. Straight away, you can see it, it applies this commas. Or else, you can use the shortcut command, control shift to one. Straight away, it applies. Control shift one. For every shortcut, selection is must. Without selection, we can't. Right? Control shift one. Next, similarly, one more point you can see. Can I send out my report? <laughs> E column also, right observation. So you can see E column date of joining. When I'm telling date of joining, it should be in a date format. End of the day, whatever date you are using, back end it's a number only. So when you copy paste your data from one sheet to another sheet, so it will convert it to date format, number format. Or else, if you're downloading any report, when you open that particular downloaded report, it will be, it will be showing in a date format, number format like this. Actually, I want my report in this particular format where you can see numbers are there. Right. So now how to do this? So to convert into date, first of all, I need to increase the width so that 
I don't want any errors. So increase the width. I need to select 75 records. So what we'll do? Control shift down arrow. I want to go to top, control backspace. I want to apply date format. So directly go to this, drop down, and then go for short date. So date. That's done. So I have converted my data network from an earlier report to this time because lots of difference have came to my report. Now I can easily send this particular report to my higher official so that he can attend the meeting and then show the report also. Now let me take you uh, almost more than half an hour we have spent to format this particular data. Now let me take you through one simple query. Just selecting few records here. I'm just going with a copy, control C copy. I want to paste my data here. Can I say, uh, can I paste here? Yes. Can I paste this data here? If I paste, you can see my data is still unformatted structured data. After doing half an hour, 45 minutes of struggling, the data which I'm looking, I want to paste as it is here. I don't want to do the same stuff once again. How to do that? Sujit, so, any idea from your end? So I want to paste my data as it is towards right side. Sir, I don't know, sir. Okay, no problem. So we are here for learning, not an issue. Thank you, sir. So just copy. If I do pasting normally, normal user type, if I paste like this, it, it will be like that one normal format, unformatted one. I need to do all the stuff once again, increase the column width, adjust the date and all. So instead of that, so what we'll do is just select a cell where you want to paste, go to paste, paste a special, or you can directly use from here itself. Second row, second option. What it tells, keep source column width as it is. So you can see column width will be pasted as it is. No need to do any adjustments here. Now that's done. Right. Uh, based on my requirement, I have done it. So later what I have, or my senior official have told is, why we have added these particular columns here? Please delete this particular data. If it is just now, if I have done, I can go with control Z. But that when it has sent a report, I have sent a report. So, sir, I have asked me to delete this particular content and share it with you. So, here you can see I can't directly select like this and delete because I have some data content here on top as well as at the bottom. I can't directly delete the column like this because the content is there. Right. So, how to delete this? If I select the data and then try to delete, only content part have been deleted. Borders are still there. If you want to remove the borders, what's the shortcut key? Just now we have learned. Control shift, alt h b n or control shift underscore. Right. So now, so here what I have done two times I am using one one the method is delete and then control shift underscore two two steps I am doing. I don't want to do multiple steps. I want to compress the number of steps here. So what you can do is, you can directly use this particular option here on screen. Clear all. To do this, we can use a shortcut command, Alt H for clear, E, A for all. A simple remember what you can do is already we have learned this alt h b a you can just change that alt h e here e a that's it instead of b you are using e that's it. A two shortcut keys you can easily learn here right almost three shortcut key three four shortcut key very useful commands right so this is a small introduction format you know, formatting which we have done so with this, I think we have learned something new where we can implement in our regular day-to-day -day activities. So now the question is, this is fine, sir, as part of demonstration I have done, uh, given your 
uh, that formatting skills and all that's fine. But what we'll be learning in our advanced Excel? The first two question is if if you're not only online have been joined, the first two question is what we'll be learning this advanced in advanced Excel. Let me show you the topics what we'll be working. So first we'll not wait. As I told, everyone will be joining for advanced Excel, but they are not aware of the basics. So what we'll do is, as part of our classes, first we'll start from scratch. Means what is Excel from basics? What is Excel? What are the terminologies used in Excel? What are the objects, environment? What's the extension of Excel? How to customize quick access toolbar? Then next we'll go with the basics like clipboard, cut the copy, paste, paste to special, all these particular to topics will be going from the scratch, right? To complete these particular exercises like uh, clipboard, font group, alignment group, data types, number group, as well as conditional formatting, right? Format a uh, table working with table, cell styles, fill, fill options, clearing, find, replace, all these particular part will it will take minimum two to three days. Hardly four days we'll be working on this one. So where we'll be exploring all the basics. So everyone be in one level to understand the basics. Once we are done with the basics, we'll go with an advance after completion of one like three four days classes. Will when you go with an advance, the first point is formulas. So where we'll start with formulas introduction. What is formula? How to write? How to write a formula means not equal to Excel. In, in Excel, we'll be starting formula with equal to. Not about equal to. After that, how to write? How to understand the query? And how to write the formulas? When you write the formula name, how to write the steps in that particular formula? All these we'll be seeing in this. Right? So, in argument, what are the terminologies used when you are writing a formulas? How many ways you can write the formulas? Right. So mathematical operators, comparison operators, references, text functions, date functions, logical functions, mathematical functions, right, statistical functions, information function, lookups. So very important when, when you go with an advanced V lookup, H lookup, X lookup, all these are the formulas. Then next reporting related, report designing techniques, right? Spark lines, the next filters, insert options like hyperlink and all. Then next we'll be discussing about printing related techniques. Then next formula execution techniques, formula auditing in that. Then next we'll discuss about calculation option, data management techniques, filtering, sorting, filtering, not only basic one, we'll be going with advanced also in that. Right, data validation, forecasting, outlines, the next data protection techniques, data viewing techniques, the next last will go with data analysis and visualization. So in that, that P word chart, P word table will, will be discussing. After based on these two concepts, we'll be creating a dashboard using charts and all. We'll be creating a dashboard. With this particular dashboard, our classes will be ending. After completion of these classes, we'll be using real-time data, real-time uh, creating a real-time da uh, dashboard. Right. So a couple of exercise will be conducted for that. Right. So with that, we'll be completing our Excel classes. Google Sheet is totally different. No, we won't be dealing with Google Sheets. So here we are going with an application Excel. Right. So let me... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. To complete, to complete this exa, advanced Excel topics, it will take one month period. Right. So classes will be starting Monday to Friday. So one month means it will take around 20 classes to complete. So 20 classes means not 20 hours. So we'll share with 20 hours. So 20, 20 not like 20 days. Right, 20 hours. In that, that meant Monday to Friday. In some cases, we might be extending or we might be going with only one one hour session. Right, less than one hour sessions also will be there. Right, 20 hours overall sessions will be there. And it's a tentative one. It might extend up to 24 hours also. 
Minimum is 20 hours, maximum is 24. It depends upon the class where the participant will be going with some flow, questioning, answering. With that, sessions might be extended up to 24 sessions also. Right. So, tentative, we are planning to start our sessions from coming Monday. That is on from 8th. 8th July. Right. The timings will be same 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Right. Any queries regarding this training classes and all, you can directly call to this particular number. Right. So we have two more days. You can take your time for confirmation and you can directly join from Monday. Right. Any queries, you are welcome to ask. Now. Online already, online, offline, both. Morning, morning. morning, morning classes. Uh, it takes some time to start new batch of morning. Right, we'll be starting like nine o'clock, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, or ten o'clock also. But as of now, uh, we have uh, some batches are already running, so it takes some time to start a new batch. It will start, but time it takes some time. Yes. Right. Sujit, you are uh, any any queries from your end? Sir, uh, I just need a suggestion from you regarding this course. Yes. Uh, like, uh, should I take the power pack or the weapon one? Uh, because I need from basic, so uh, I'm null at this subject totally. So you can never go for first. You can opt for MS Office. So okay. As, Weapon type. So, weapon is totally on other applications and all added. So, you can opt okay. for MS Office where it consists of three applications, which is more than enough, like Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Once okay. you complete these particular applications, like after completion of this MS Office classes, you can go for PowerPoint. Okay. Which will be very useful because after completion of this, you can go for job opportunities also. Or data analyst role and all, but to okay. to go to this compulsory basics of these particular classes are required. Yeah, right. But, um, yes, sir. Telling any details for this particular issues. Ambas office, Word, Excel, PowerPoint duration will be like one month, forty five days, forty to forty five days. It will take. Okay, sir. Fifteen to twenty days, which is right. Right, uh, that we'll discuss. Okay, so that's all. Then uh, if you don't have any queries, we'll wind up with this. Thank you. Right. Sir. Thank you. Thank you all. Good night.